you get back. How are you? You all right? You know. The monkey's gone. Let me look at you. Let me look at you. Yeah. Not even a postie card. You can't read anyway. Well, you could have drawn pictures. Yeah, you goofy punk. How's the lost dog business? Yeah. As soon as they see me hanging around, people start locking up their mutts. I tell you, folks just don't have that trust in their fellow man anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, Yanta, look who's out. Frankie. Hey, you all right? Clean? Yep. Good kid. Enough already. Buy me a drink. Sure. Uh, look what the cat dragged in. There hey, is the cat. Hey, you gone so long, I thought maybe you was made for it. Hey, you're looking good, dealer. Put on six pounds. Wow, six pounds. He's gone so long, I thought maybe he's made warden. How was it down there, Frankie? Greatest place you ever see, Nancy. She means Lexington. I'm telling you. Ball games, great food. I even learned how to play the drums. Yeah. You make it sound as if I missed something by not going to jail years ago. It's a prison, no? More hospital kind. Let me show you something. Ah, federal pens is always best. Ask anybody. Well, I know. He's gone so long, I think he's made for it. Ever see anything so pretty? Don't touch. Hey, how'd you sneak him out, Frankie? The guys give me him up there in the band. They let you have a band? Yeah, I was in it. And they chipped in and bought me these when I left. Wow. Long time deal. How was it there? Bad, huh? It was all right. Six months. 
You can hardly wait, I bet. Come over my way. Well, thanks, Louie. You broke? Now, ain't you being stupid? It's for free. I don't need it as all. I kicked it. Oh. Kicked it? One of that. I mean it. Sure. I'll be around. Frankie, don't do it. Don't start up with that peddler again. Me? I'd rather chop my arm off before I let him touch it. It's Dr. Lennox who took care of me down at the hospital. We were a good guy. He told me at least ten times. He said, Frankie, when you get out of here, you take even one fix, you're hooked again. Don't worry about me, buddy boy. Let's get out of here. Thanks, Antic. Antic. Take care of this asset for me. I got a customer coming to get it. Okay, Sparrow. I'll let him give you no gas. Him? I ain't gonna be around here long enough to let him bother me. I'm gonna get me a job in a big name band. You're kidding. What do you think I'm strengthening my wrist for, buddy Oh, Guy teaches me drumming down there, says that I'm a natural. Can't miss, he says. Arms made of pure gold. You mean a job wanging these drums? I got everything planned, too. I'm gonna call myself Jack Duval. Probably I ain't gonna see you around so much then, huh? Yeah, maybe I can set something up for you. Carry any instruments or something. Wow! Traveling around the country, high-type nightclubs. How's that sound to you, punk? When is it gonna be? When? Right away, today. I'm the kind of guy, boy, when I move, watch my smoke. But I'm gonna need some good clothes, though. Oh, well, you go on up. I'm gonna find you some. Yeah, yeah. Size 39, get. 39. Stripes. Stripes. Something nice. <laughs> This is respectable house, and I am respectable man. Respectable, my eye. Go on, get out. You're late for the parole board. It's like a real party or something. Real nice, Ash. How are you, Frankie? I'm clean. Sure. I kicked it for keeps. 
Did it hurt? How was it there for you? Oh, they treated me fine down there. There was this doctor, this Dr. Lennox. He was real good to me. Thank you. Thank you. Did you miss me? Of course I missed you, Zosh. What kind of silly question is that? Of course I missed you. <laughs> Honest, no kidding. What do you got there? You'll see. Oh, I brought you something. Oh, it's an exquisite thing. You like it? I made it myself, out of cigarette wrappers. It's just an exquisite thing, is all. You made it? Yeah, for a hobby, like. You see, part of the cure is to keep yourself busy doing things you enjoy. Like, for instance, I wanted to learn to drum and music, and Dr. Lennox got him to help me do it. During the day, I was kept busy enough, but sometimes at night, I get restless, I want to keep my mind off the craving. I made that. There's something important I gotta tell you. What? I forget right now. A whistle? Oh, I was scared sometimes being alone. So if I got it for me, I should blow for her when I wanted to. Juan, you were telling me. Oh, well, the first thing you do when you get there, you talk to a doctor for about two hours. Oh, I know, I know what it is. I know what I had to tell you. Vi took me to this movie, and the girl's kid brother had a friend in it. Now, who do you think he looked like? Who? You! Uh, oh, it was a good movie. The stage show was real good, too. We owe Vi 80 cents for the movie I was broke. And we owe her for the cake, too. How come you didn't have any money? Shrieker didn't kick in regular? No. We were supposed to. It was his joint they raided, not mine. I was just a dealer. I kept my mouth shut and took the rap. If he didn't send 50 a month regular, how much did he? Well, he sent 50, but not regular. You see, Vi had to kick in for me sometimes. She took good care of you? Had fun with her? Yeah. But not like when you're here. It was terrible being alone, Frankie. And my legs, when they hurt, she don't massage like you when they hurt. What do they say by the clinic, Zosh? Oh, I stopped going by that goofy clinic. The clinic must know what's right, Zosh. You gotta start the clinic again. You gotta get well. If I dreamed that this new doctor around the corner, he cured me. I'd have gone to him already, but he ain't free like the clinic. But now you're back making money again by Shrivka, I'll go. <coughs> I'm finished with Shrivka. I don't deal for him no more. But you always deal. You're a dealer. You're the best dealer in the business. No more. I'm a drummer now. <sighs> don't make jokes, Frankie. I never know when you're making jokes. It was joking, Zosh. Listen. Nice, huh? The stock, the Lennox. I told her my whole life story. From when I was born, almost. It's about you and me. But he told me that if I lived when I got out, like I lived before I went in there, chances are I would be hooked again in no time. So that's why I want to get with a band. Listen. How's that? Cute. What to tell him about me, this doctor? I told him about getting some money and getting you well. And he said getting with a band was a good way to go at it. He even gave me the name of a guy in town right here to get a job. That's nice. I mean, if this man with a job ever heard of this great doctor, most times these things just don't come through. I got this. What is it? It's a letter from the doc. I think I'll go call him now. Now? Let's talk about it tomorrow. I'll be right up, Zosh. You ain't even tasted the cake. It'll only be a minute. I'll be right up. No, no, Frankie. First, taste a piece of nice cake. Hey, you coming, baby? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, John. Hey, 
Hey, Molly. Yeah, I'm I want to talk to Mr. Harry Lane, please. How about it, huh? Machine. Frankie Machine. Yeah, I got a letter of introduction for him. From Dr. Lance. Yeah. Hello, Frankie. Dr. Martin Lennox. How you been, Molly? All right. Come on, baby, let's go. Yeah, I'm yeah. coming, John. A guy met when you was away. Mr. Lane, I got a letter for you, yeah. Come on, what do you say, kid? It's afternoon, huh? Well, gee, I sure do appreciate it, Mr. Lane. Thank you so much. Okay. Goodbye. Frankie! A new thing by Brack's department store. No sales girls. You just help yourself. It's what they call a honor 